Osiris. Previously on Sugar Maple. If you are Blitzkrieg, out of the flames. Look what she's holding. Oh my God. Count those branches. There are six. Yep. Which means... What does the Thread Tree want to do? Maybe it wants revenge. And Fiona Blitzkrieg's going to use Sugar Maple to play Diabolus in Musica. Death appears as final notes fall. He must play to end this all. Fiona Blitzkrieg will play her comeback show at the historic Marquee in London on New Year's Eve. And debut her new songs? Yeah, the dark scale songs. Using a tritone, the devil's chord. You've got to stop Fiona from playing that song on Sugar Maple. Whatever it takes, you've got to go to London. Sugar Maple. A musical fiction podcast. From Osiris Media. One guitar, one mystery, one story told in eight episodes. Episode 7 Fiona Blitzkrieg My name is Helen and I am an addict. Out in the world, I'm known as Fiona Blitzkrieg. Success has been a failure for me. Yeah. Again, I lose. It's been my life. You start with all this energy and then bullshit slowly sucks it out until you're just a cold, dead shell like life. It's just entropy. I was 20 when my band, Tanhazard, I don't know if you've heard of it, took off. Stratosphere, man, pure metal, cartoon stage name, backstories, outfits, me and my bandmates, Nigel and Lester, you'd know them as Evil Steven and Flutty Fresh Ripper, had barely met each other before we found ourselves on world tour. And I was still a kid. That's the gain. My dad, though... He didn't get to see it happen. He died the year before pneumonia. And my brother couldn't handle it. He killed himself that summer. That's the loss. Most times I wanted the gain to go away so I didn't have to lose that too. I learned pills were best to make it all disappear. Used to wash them down with gin, pill by fabulous pill came the day I emerged and there was nothing left to come back to. The band couldn't handle me anymore, nor my management, nor my label. I was out in the wilderness months, years. I could have died so many times. Everyone expected me to. When you're addicted, it feels like that's all there is. No way out. But my mom pulled me out. She saved me, brought me back home, moved my stuff in, set my schedule, got me clean. And then I sweet-talked the band back. We got a reunion tour together. But there's always more to lose. My mom had just seen me into a new place of my own. We hadn't even moved my stuff in. I was so excited to be there. I slept on the floor, just me and a cot and a phone. The phone that woke me up in the wee hours. The fire had started at night and it went quick. My childhood home was a row house, one of seven that the firefighters couldn't save. I lost my mom and to me, that meant I'd lost everything that actually mattered. I knew exactly how to make the rest go away. 
I'd have sunk for good if Sugar Maple hadn't come into my life. I was in bad shape when it did. Wow, was that really a year and a half ago now? your purses, you shriveled dicks. It's time to rock. Oh, look who finally appears for rehearsal. Princess Sozzled. Piss off, Freddy Flesh Ripper. I'm here. I'm ready to go. Off, oh, Fiona. Christ's sake. Honestly. What's that supposed to mean? This again? Really, Stephen? You promised, Fiona. So off her face, she can't even walk around my drum kit. I said piss off, little man. That's exactly what's happening. I'm pissing off. Fuck. This. Band. Look, maybe we can give her a chance. Please, just... Look at her, Stephen. It's like last summer. Worse. Never happened. Got sorted. I'm here. (laughs) Ready to... Go. It's been a year. You're still pilled out of your bonds. We have to get stage ready. That means practice. It has to be spot on to pull this off. Not the other shit you gave us last time. Simmer down, man. I'm at my end, mate. Last of the chances. Seriously, man. Summer 91's finally here. The tears and metal tours around the corner. This is the comeback tour we always talked about. Was our comeback tour. Oh, the wines of Freddy Flesh Quitter. You quit years ago. They've forgotten us. We're cartoons. Yes, we are cartoons. Why do you think we have these backstories? People love cartoons. But do they love us? Of course. We're Tannhauser, damn it. They love me. You both are furniture. (laughs) Freddy Footstool and and Easel Steven. Last I checked, we're London's punching bag. I, I can't go anywhere without seeing some headline about your tosspot meltdowns. They had been reporting on a sobriety, actually. Her occasional sobriety. Why do you think they love me, you footstool you? Everyone loves a crash. Come and see Fiona Blitzkrieg, the exploding girl, see the meltdown. She's off her tits. She's hurting. Actually, that's a good point. Hey, Fred? Father dead. Brother snuffed it. And just when things turn around, a fire steals everything I have left in this world. Walk in those shoes, Freddy Flesh Ripper. Oh, live in your choices, will you? I'd be more sympathetic if you didn't try to scuttle the rest and bring me with you. You're a has-been, Fiona. You, you don't even have a proper guitar. Yeah, true, Fred. This axe you loans me is absolute rubbish, eh? Let's take care of that! <laughs> Bitch! That wasn't your guitar to smash! Fiona! Can you please help? I did. Help myself feel better, Stevie. Beautiful smashes from this beautiful meltdown. You promised, Stephen. She goes straight or we walk. There's no way we pull this off. She's too much of a mess. I quit. You can't quit, Fredo. You're on contract. Insurance clause, love. That BS contract I signed won't hold if you so much as take cough medicine. Don't threaten, love. You don't have the sausage. Steve, tell him. Freddy's right. Too right I am. What? As right as roosters and as gone as King George. Goodbye, princess. Have a bad life. What did you say, Nigel? I see no choice, Helen. I got to ask Mr. Chowdhury to postpone the tour. No, Nigel, we have to play. Come on. Not when you aren't right, Fiona. You do this to me? After all I've been through? I can't comprehend how you've made it this far with what you've been through, but I can't stand aside while you kill yourself. We'll lose more than our reputations if we go out on the road. I need this, Nigel. You need to get better. I can't watch it anymore. Don't do it. It's done. I'm Fiona Blitzkrieg. 
Who are you to call this off? The best friend you've got right now. Bollocks. Freddy wasn't totally wrong. I was a mess. I wasn't ready to tour. After I stormed out, I hit the one place I knew could make Freddy and his bullshit go away. Denmark Street. I love it on Denmark Street. It's my favorite place to score and then lose myself in the waves and vibes of the music there. Like the rustling of leaves in the trees on a windy day. It always calms me as I drift into the haze. Not long after I got there, I found myself at the door of my usual hookup, but for some reason, as much as I wanted to, I couldn't go in. Like I was fighting a magnet when... Excuse me, miss. I don't remember his face, just that he was carrying a guitar case and looked kindly enough I didn't immediately pop him one. I'm sorry, but can I trouble you for a moment? You already have. My name's Nick, and I... My name's bugger off. Sure, but before you go in, there's something I think you'll want to see. Can you please just leave? You've never seen anything like it. Oh, gross. Keep walking. It's not like that. It's here, in this case. Oh. Wow, it's... It's stunning. It's yours. My brother had a Telecaster. After he died, I played it at every gig, every practice. His spirit was in that guitar. Until the fire took his guitar from me and with it the last I had of my brother. Then the strangest thing happened. That man showed up with sugar maple. Like my brother's, but different. The wood, of course, the neck, and those six branches, that was different. I always felt my brother's guitar sang to me, and so did this one, but I didn't want singing. Not then. After the stranger handed it to me, I scored and brought the guitar back home with my goodies. The guitar sat in its case for almost a year, watching me pop pills like a rock star. Not as though I needed that guitar. Stephen cancelled the tour and the band stopped playing altogether. I could barely even look at that thing. It reminded me too much of what I'd lost. I finally picked it up again when the magazine people came knocking. They wanted a picture with a guitar, so I obliged. I knew they were rubberneckers, hoping to watch my last sad spin down the drain. Fine, whatever, I thought. But when I picked up Sugar Maple during the interview, I played a single note and suddenly I heard these songs. Like they were in the guitar. I told them I had this great idea for an album. Diabolus and Musica, a concept album. Songs containing a dark scale and one with a chord that sounded cool and evil like Fiona Blitzkrieg would do. Another thing though, when I played Sugar Maple... A wave of emotion flowed through me like something dead had come alive. Like nothing could stop me. I convinced the magazine man who wrote it all up pretty. It took me longer to convince Stephen I was ready. Really ready for a comeback tour. I swore I had an album in my new guitar. I was in control. By some miracle, he convinced Freddy to go back out with us. That only took a year. And brings us to a few weeks ago. Our first rehearsal since Fiona the Junkie buggered any shred of hope at that last one. I couldn't blame Freddy for thinking Princess Sozzled would show her face at this rehearsal, too. Is the answer in these pages? 
is hidden in my dungeon cell behind a broken tile. The voodoo kiss. Well, aren't you a sound for sort of years? Hi, Stephen. Good to see you. Been ages. That's the best you've sounded in a long time. What was that? A new song for Diabolus and Musica. Wicked! I saw the interview, I'll I'll be honest. I didn't think it was real. It wasn't. (laughs) I was manifesting, and here you are. And now here come the songs. Freddy here yet? No. Think you'll show? Better. Now ask me if I want to. We don't have another drummer lined up, so yeah, it's got to be him. But would you look at that guitar? What is that? A Telecaster. Ha, ha. I mean, what's that all over it? Aren't those rad? They look like roots. If only there were seven instead of six, it would fit the seals theme of Diabolus. Seals? Like with balls balanced on noses? Seven seals, you wally, as in of the apocalypse? End of the world? Perfect. You've got a guitar, some new songs, you sound great. Time for the world to end. Are you back? I haven't used in months. I don't think I need to anymore, but I I don't know. It was real bad for a real long time. I was beyond mental. I remember. I can't go back there. I, I don't think you will. I really don't. I need you to believe that. There's something different about you. All right, then. I made it. Sorry I'm late. Speak of the Diabolus in Musica. So great to see you. Ha ha. Cute. So what's this about? Oh, I got us a gig at the Marquee. A New Year's gig. This week. A gig? Us. Us. The three of us. The three of us. Four bands. We're headlining. On right before midnight. And if it goes well, we can talk tour. Sounds insane. I know. Sounds like us. I know. It's time. It's now or never. It's us. Oh, God, I can't believe Killer of Sleep wants me to tour with them and I get pulled into a dinosaur band with the Queen of Head Cases and no songs. Whoa, do you see that? Are you okay? Yeah. All right, it just... For a second there, I saw the most massive... tree? Fantastic. Too much of the Lucy again, Fiona? I I don't know what that was. What? Need some pills to smooth out the edges? Shot it, Freddy. Maybe some perks. You love perks, right? Mother- Or is it Captain Cody? I can't remember which you go to whenever a little black rain cloud rolls in. Fuck your shit. Told you. Slightest thing, she's off for another fix. I know there's a good person in you somewhere, Fred. Let's find it, please. I had to put it to the test. You think I'm going to be the hardest thing she faces? Freddy, you're such an ass. What? You don't think we're right fucked? Then go get her right now and prove it. Prove to me she's not off to her favourite Pez dispenser right now. Fine. I'm sure she's right outside. She left her guitar behind. Let's go see them. Oh! You startled me. I'm sorry, Fiona. Oh, great. Are you a fan or paparazzi? The wrong answer loses your teeth. I'm sorry to startle you. It's me, Terence, the one who's left you messages. It's real important- Chief, it is! No, wait, Fiona, please, please! I need you to understand. You can't play that guitar at the Marquis on New Year's Eve. Any other guitar is fine. Look, I brought you one. A beautiful new Fender. Just just play this one. Whatever you do, just don't... See? Not here. Oh, shit. Fiona! Fiona! Damn it, Freddy! You chased her off! What the fuck is this? What is this place? I don't know. The thread tree keeps sending me here. What the fuck is the thread tree? Oh my god, we're back. 
What? I don't know what it is. I keep going there. This is what I'm trying to tell you. That guitar, Sugar Maple, it makes somebody play a song every seven years, and 1993 is the next in the sequence. You're next in the sequence. If you play it, bad things will happen. You have to... No. Bloody no. Listen real good, yeah? Piss off. Just take this fender. Give me Sugar Maple. I've had enough. You see this pager? I've hired two impossibly large men with real temper problems at security. I push this button, they come, and they get mad, and then you don't look like Terrence anymore. Fiona, please. You can't play. Whoops. Button pushed. Oh. You're back. What are you doing with your tuna? Pretending it's a pager. Who are you yelling at? Psycho fan. Ah, they fanned you already. Look, let's cancel rehearsal today, come back to it in the morning when Psycho Fan Stink is gone, and when Freddy's managed to take his rabies medication. Bugger that. We play. Oh, back for more, are we? I just need to play. I just need to play. Did you remember your gin to wash down your farmies? Fuck's sake, Freddy! Enough! Let him yap. Oh, I got plenty more for her. If she can't take it from me, she won't make it on stage. She doesn't even deserve that guitar. Sideways, but you pull me down. Why is your pain face wearing a frown? The voices I'm hearing are deep in the ground. Many years and many deserts, they're staying in the sun for any breeze or any smile. The vinegars is the answer. That's what I think of you and your bollocks, Freddy. Don't question whether I can hack it on stage. All I see is a fragile egg that cracks from the slightest bump in the road. Right. That's it. Come with me, Flesh Ripper. What? Where? Put the sticks down and walk. Why? You want to take this outside? Yeah. There's something you should see. This has been the most enlightening taxi ride. What a lovely, vacant lot you've brought us to. Shut it, Fred. Don't you see where we are? Do tell. You're so thick. You see there's been a fire? This was the house I grew up in. The house where my mum died. If not for her, there'd be no Fiona Blitzkrieg. When she died, I thought that was it for me. You give me so much shit, Freddy. Call me a fragile egg. Try losing everything. These weren't just bumps in the road. When my mom died, the roots of my whole being were finally just gone. You act angry, Freddy, but you're never angry. You're just inconvenienced. You've never been angry like I was. Or as alone. My sanity was little more than frayed ends. So, yeah, Freddy, old habits reappeared. Pills weren't the problem, everything else was. The pills just made it go away. They were the solution, the only way I could keep breathing. Since me mom died, I haven't been sure I could play again. Like, we should just call it quits, but... Then I played this guitar and something changed. Like, I really can hack it now. That I need to... Fiona, look, I'm sorry. I know I stalked. I did. It's okay. I won't come any closer. Just please hear me out. You... You can't play that guitar. Not in 1993. It's the seventh year of seven. It's the end of the cycle. A seven of sevens. It's very important. He sounds even nuttier than you. This appeal friend of yours? If only. It sounds crazy, I know. You have no idea. But you went to the hill with the screaming. You've been there. Screaming? What hill is this then? 
Don't listen to him. He's a nutter. Please, look. There have been all these tremors for weeks around London. I think there's an earthquake coming. And not just an earthquake. The earthquake. The end of the world. <laughs> the end of the world? You don't have to believe me. You, you don't even have to listen. You just cannot play that guitar. You can have this Fender. Really, I just need you to swap with me. Fine. If it'll make you go away, let's swap. Maybe Freddy's right. Maybe I don't deserve sugar maple. You're doing the right thing. Oi! Right in the ghoulies. But I don't bloody think so. Keep your junk, Terrence. But the hill. And the screaming. I don't know what sort of voodoo you pulled to mess with my mind, but it won't work. Sugar maple's mine. If the world explodes, all the better. <laughs> Freddy's known me since we were kids, and he's always known what buttons to push to make me feel like girls couldn't be rock stars. He wanted to be the big shot, hated that I was the one they came to see. He's all bark and no bite, really, but each time he'd spout off, I'd always feel like as if he was right, that it was over, that I was just lying to myself if I thought there was any point to even try. I always hoped music would get me through, But every time someone died that faded further. Ever since I got Sugar Maple, I've had this feeling that playing this guitar is my purpose, my reason to hold on. And here comes this lunatic arsehole, this Terrence, to tell me that my purpose may be to not play it. Utterly ridiculous. I'm Fiona Bloody Blitzkrieg. This is what I do. I shred. I first felt it when I wrote that song Leviticus. It felt so good to lose myself in the trance of composing, to feel that connection with the guitar, like the music was flowing through me, like I was just an amplifier, like the world would crash down all around me and it would matter. And when I played it for the boys, everything just came together, like we had a band again, and tonight we have a show. You know what? I know just the ending that will bring down the house. I can't wait. <laughs> Well, I'll stop talking now. Gigs tonight. We have to go to sound check. Yeah! I just wish the Marquis had let us in earlier. Would have had time to get dialed in. What are you complaining about? That was scorching. Sizzling. That does sound like the old Tarnhauser. Except it's got something a little extra this time. <laughs> Even for soundtrack. It's something new. I didn't know this guitar before. This baby sure can rock. Come on, come on, come on! God, I can't believe this traffic. I have to get there. Terrence Woodridge, December 31st, 1992, 9.01 p.m. This is a message for Reba. I tried offering Fiona a different guitar. It didn't work. If you're listening to this, it means I made it. I might. I, there's still time. I promised. Plenty of time. I should have taken the tube. Damn it! No, it, it, it's something else in the song. Freddy's right. You're definitely channeling something that wasn't there before. Pretty wicked, too. Might even scare the shit out of the real metalheads. <laughs> That's the point, right? Is it too metal for you? Impossible. Just that when we played it, we went somewhere dark. I mean, really dark. Not the usual metal dark. Finally! Terrence Woodridge, 10.07 p.m. Ugh, it took me an hour to go five miles. At this rate, I get there faster on foot. This is ridiculous. And where the hell is my turn? It's supposed to be here. Oh, God. God, that's right. Kilometers, not miles. Damn it, Reba. 
I missed my turn. There must be another route, some side street, anything. There, that one. Oh, of course, the Maple Lane. What do you mean, finally? We've always been too soft. Speaking of soft, did you see who's on before us? Who? Lubo and the Fuzz Bastards. Who are... Wait a minute. I hate Lupo and the Fuzz Bastards. Jazz is bollocks. Nah, they've had a lot of lineup changes. The metal now. Soft metal. Oh God, no! Which way? Which way? Which way? Whatever. I I just want to go out there and feel like someone's mother's gonna freak out and start a church riot. Oh, I miss that. You ain't seen nothing yet. Let's play it at midnight. First moment of 1993. Thumb in your eye, Mr. Psychophan Terrence. Reba, for posterity, it should be noted, if the universe ends tonight, it's because I can't read a map or drive on the left side of the road. Sold out. Damn! I forgot my ticket at the hotel. Shit, okay. Think, do I put my finger in the air? Do they do that here? No, no time. Uh, gotta find another way in. Maybe there's a backstage entrance or something. There, okay. No one around. Great. There she is, Fiona! Fiona! Hey! Hey, let me go! What do you... Let me... I gotta get through! Crowd's getting right. Just about showtime. If the fuzz bastards haven't spoiled them. You ready, Fiona? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Because we don't have to... Enough, Stephen. Got this. Okay? We're going to destroy tonight. Flesh Ripper. I... Even one word from you tonight and you're a eunuch. Got it? Just need you to show these people what you got tonight. That you aren't all talk. All right, boys. Let's go. There's no time. You've got to let me by. Fiona can't play that song. Oh, God, is this it? Let me... <sighs> Sorry about that. You'll save me later. If there is a later. Jerry!
Our guest is Metal Chicken Hackett. Air Froggy? Woo! What a couple years it's been! Feels like ten! I've known a lot of death in this life. And what I've learned, death's just a part of it. Loss with gain. When death shows up, you can't just make her go away. You have to play with death. So, come on, people. Let's play with death. Reba, I've made it. There's not much time. I'm going to try and sneak past the stagehands, get on stage, and grab her. You'll probably listen to this after you've paid my bail. I hope my one phone call can be overseas. So, it's about that time. See you on the other side. This song's for me, Mom. Sugar Maple is presented by Osiris Media. Be sure to stick around for the stunning conclusion of our story in Episode 8 of Sugar Maple. You can also listen to Leviticus from the Sugar Maple soundtrack wherever you download music. To check out the limited edition poster for this episode, visit SugarMapleArt.com. And for a limited NFT release of episode and series art, visit SugarMapleNFT.com. If you like what you hear, please give us a review wherever you listen to podcasts. Sugar Maple Episode 7 stars Fred Savage as Terrence Woodridge, Jen Apple as Fiona, Tim Dowd as Stephen, James Masiovecchio as Freddie, and Theodore Sapp as Nick. The executive producers of Sugar Maple are Tom Marshall and RJB. The show was produced, edited, and sound designed by Brad Stratton and Tom Sullivan. Final mix and master by Brad Stratton. Story by Ben Colmery, A.R. Moxon, and Tom Marshall. Episode 7, written by Ben Colmery and A.R. Moxon. Directed by James Masiovecchio. Musical direction by Don Hart. Art by Mark Dowd. Production assistance by Zach Brogan and Christina Collins. Social media director, Nick Sejas. 
Thanks for tuning into this episode of Sugar Maple. And remember, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review wherever you get your podcasts. Osiris.